So in April 2013, when the first Depsang intrusion happened and lasted for nearly three weeks, India had not paid enough attention to either building infrastructure rapidly in uh, eastern Ladakh, bordering uh, Aksai Chin and of course uh, bordering Tibet, and uh, in Arunachal Pradesh or in Sikkim. It was a result of 20 years of uh, relative peace and tranquility along the line of actual control uh, with China after those agreements of 1993, 1996, 2003 and 2013. But Depsang 1 was a wake-up call. Already the government had realized after the Depsang intrusion in 2013 that the Chinese are going to be approaching the border more aggressively and these incidents are going to increase. As it is, some of the plans that were in place from 2010-2011 were now being implemented more rapidly. So let's look at what it was in 2013 and what it is now in 2023, 10 years later. As of 2013, there was one division, the 3 Infantry Division located at or headquartered at uh, Karu, which uh, was deployed along the entire 850 plus kilometers of eastern Ladakh frontier. That division itself was a truncated division. It did not have full complement of three brigades. It just had a couple of brigades under its command. And even in those brigades, some of the battalions uh, actually carried out dual tasking. Some of the battalions actually rotated. Uh, they went and uh, deployed on the Siachen Glacier against Pakistan. And uh, they came back uh, down uh, to uh, eastern Ladakh and then got deployed along the eastern Ladakh uh, frontier. So uh, there was not much seriousness in a way because uh, the border was relatively quiet. That uh, frontier was uh, not something that India was focused on. And therefore India could afford to do this dual tasking of these battalions who went to Siachen, came back or uh, first came to eastern Ladakh, then went to Siachen. That kind of thing used to happen. So 3 Infantry Division was a truncated division. In fact, they were, you can say, barely dedicated uh, troop deployment on the eastern Ladakh frontier was about two battalions, about 2,000 troops, to, if you really precisely calculate. Similarly, uh, the Air Force did not have much of a deployment in uh, either uh, uh, Leh or in Thois, which was another uh, air, air airport or airfield near Siachen Glacier. It used to rotate uh, helicopter units and of course the 114 helicopter unit was permanently based in Leh and in Thois, uh, servicing mostly the Siachen Glacier. So in short, Ladakh was or the eastern Ladakh frontier against China was not a priority. Ten years later today, situation has changed drastically. Today, the entire core, the 14 core, the 14 core of course existed even in 2013 because it was established in Leh or headquartered in Leh since uh, post Kargil in 1999. Uh, it uh, became operational in 2001. But as I said, the focus was not on Eastern Ladakh. But today, if you look at uh, how the troop deployment has increased, today 60,000 Indian Army troops are deployed on the Eastern Ladakh frontier with the entire focus of the 14 Corps headquartered in Leh, now on the China border. Siachen, of course, one brigade, uh, the uh, Siachen brigade looks after the Siachen deployment, so 3,000 troops look after the Siachen deployment. But as compared to uh, Siachen, the number of troops deployed on the uh, eastern Ladakh frontier is now about 60,000. They all may not be right in the front, but uh, that is the kind of allotment that has been given uh, and the rebalancing of forces has happened uh, in Ladakh as far as uh, the troop deployment of the army is concerned.